You are watching Breaking News Live. Very well, good evening. Today is 2nd December 2200. This is Derry from Space Team. We are now in Mars. With the clear atmosphere in here, we can observe space occurrences clearly. We arrived here from a starship and we can get the live stream in space through the satellites. Three astronomers and six scientists are here in this starship. Actually, this spaceship was inspired by Elon Musk's SpaceX company spacecraft SA8, which was initially launched in 2020. Throughout the past years, there were so many research projects about mysteries in space, about planets, moons, stars, nuclear stars, black holes, white holes, galaxies, and many others. Technology is rapidly developed, and scientists discovered a great deal about space. As a result, thanks to the existing technology, today we can watch the collision of the two greatest opponents in the universe life, which is taking place 55 light years away from us. This is a black hole. A black hole is one of the most catastrophic objects in the universe, gobbling up everything in its path. However, there is another special phenomenon that is just as devastating, which we can see on the opposite side, known as a white hole. You know, these two are just about to collide. The existence of the black holes was first predicted by Albert Einstein in 1960 with his general theory of relativity. Black holes are some of the strangest and most fascinating objects in the outer space. They are extremely dense with such strong gravitational attraction that even light cannot escape. Since the matter is squeezed into a tiny space, the gravity is incredibly strong. They can be formed by the death of a massive star. Because light cannot get out, we cannot see a black hole. Stars which are close to a black hole are differently than the other stars. And space telescopes with special tools can help find black holes. Black holes can be big or small. Scientists say the smallest black holes are as small as just one atom with a mass of a mountain and the largest black holes are called as supermassive with the mass more than of 1 million suns together. In the other side, a white hole. A white hole is a region of space-time and singularity that cannot be entered from the outside, although energy, matter, light and information can escape from it. White hole might be big or small, they might spin or remain stationary. They could be electrically charged as well. They might be surrounded by a ring of dust and a cloud of gas and debris would be gathered at its event horizon. Nothing can ever cross the event horizon of a white hole and reach the interior. Matter inside can come out of a white hole, cross the event horizon and interact with the objects in the space outside of it. According to physicists, this is because a white hole is a black hole's time reversal. Black hole singularity exists in the future while white hole singularity exists in the past. White hole was formerly a black hole. Black holes will become white holes after millions of years and all the energy and material it has consumed over the years will be expelled back into the space. However, white hole it may not endure long. The matter ejected by the white hole travels at the speed of light. As a result, it's safe to argue that the white hole, as opposed to this up-and-coming black hole, is the more active fighter in this position. But how useful will its past experience be? The main difference between a black hole and a white hole is that white holes burp and the black holes swallow. The signature move of a black hole is to consume whatever matter it comes into touch with. Rather than sucking in energy, white hole signature move is to eject it. So, with our two warriors employing diametrically opposed assault techniques, who will win? Our two opponents eventually have met after millions of years of breaking her walk of the universe. They have fought asteroids, planets and even stars but have always managed to get through. Now they are up against their most powerful adversaries yet. Oh, we have reached the most awaited moment now. As you all can witness, the black hole is gaining the upper hand of these two immense forces approach one another. The white hole is trying all in its power to keep the black hole from catching up to it. But unfortunately, it doesn't have a chance. The reason is because the white hole has no choice but to spit energy towards its enemy. 
Despite its all ability to defend itself against everything else in the universe, the black hole is tragically its one true match. The matter ejected by the white hole is converted into energy for the black hole. The black hole may feed on the white hole for thousands of years, so this won't be a fast fight. The black hole is becoming bigger and bigger as it feeds white hole. According to the scientists who are witnessing this moment with me right now, after years this black hole will swallow the white hole completely. Our black hole will thereafter be huge than it has ever been due to the massive amount of energy it has consumed. That was a futuristic assumption which might happen in 300 odd years with reference to the theories that are already available. But what if it actually happened? We'd have a huge black hole circling the universe, demolishing anything it comes across. And if Earth comes in contact with the black hole, the destruction would be unbelievable. If the Earth ever falls into a black hole, first, the side of the Earth which is close to the black hole might sense a much more potent force than the other side. The atmosphere would start becoming devoid of air and matter. Good chunks of the Earth would tear or break away from the rest of the Earth and it will continue to happen. In the process, if the Earth were to fall into the orbit of the black hole, we would experience tidal heating. Due to its strong and even gravitational pull on the Earth, it would continuously deform the planet. The result of this would cause a tremendous amount of internal friction and heating the Earth's core to very dangerous levels. The final result of this would be disastrous earthquakes, volcanoes and deadly tsunamis. As an object falls into a black hole, it will become stretched out and stagnified due to the increase in differential in gravitational attraction on different parts of it. This would happen before presumably losing dimensionality completely and disappearing irrevocably into the singularity at the center. For example, imagine that you are headed feet first to a black hole. Your feet will feel a strong gravitational pull. The ultimate result will be elongation of the whole body and thinning in the middle. In stellar black holes, this can occur hundreds of kilometers away from the event horizon. But in supermassive black holes, this can happen inside the event horizon. No hair theorem can also explain the fate of anything entering a black hole. That is, no matter how hairy or complex an object you throw into a black hole, it will get reduced down to its mass, charge and spin. In the process of falling into a black hole, the careful balance of our solar system would collapse by crashing into one another. Our asteroid belt would get sucked towards us and we'd be dead before turning into spaghetti. Also, we'd be likely to die from the massive amounts of radiation which is generated as matter gets sucked into the black hole. Science, as we all know, is constantly evolving. Gravity, the speed of light, wave motions and even the tiniest particles and their reactions might all be considerably different. Hence, the predictions are uncertain. We never know if the life on Earth was originated with a white hole. Will humanity be destroyed by a black hole? Or maybe we are already trapped within a black hole.